In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at theme and we're going to look at several different types of videos and then we're going to have a few things to fill out that you can do based on all kinds of videos. So if you are on a um, like a regular computer right now, then you'll have a few different options for how you can watch the videos because we won't spend all of our time on our lesson today watching videos together. That's something that you can do as a result of this lesson, but I'm going to show you where to get everything. So remember finding theme when we're talking about theme, we're talking about the message and you'll see how I kind of write wrote that here. I've got it written here for you. So the theme is the message because a lot of times people get theme and topic mixed up. So we're only really going to focus on the theme here today. So the theme, like just another way to explain it is it's just kind of that universal message. So you read something, you watch something, whatever it is, it's that, um, universal idea that um, that we can learn from, that we all can learn from and apply to our lives. So the word universal, it, it basically just means anybody, anywhere, anytime in history, past, present, future, any country can relate to the overall lesson learned, okay? Themes are never just explicitly stated. Themes are things that we have to we basically have to infer them. It means we have to take, we have to think about the character. We have to think about what the character learned. We have to think about the lesson from the story. And then that's where we get the theme. Like the author or the movie director doesn't just come right out and tell us what the theme is. So when we're talking about theme, we could think about things like love, greed, honor, um, fear, um, you know, overcoming your obstacles, Things like that, those are ideas of themes, and that's what I mean when I say it's universal because like love, greed, honor, um, overcoming obstacles, this one right here, love conquers all, or you know, greed leads to war or whatever. Those are things that anybody living anytime, past, present, future, any country, any location, those are all things people can relate to, okay? That's what it means by universal. All right, so here's how we're gonna find the theme. There are only really two steps. First of all, when you're trying to think about theme, pay attention to anything that is repeated over and over. So whether it's a book you're reading, whether it's something you're watching on a show or a video, look for words or symbols or colors or just look for things that are repeated over and over, okay? That's step one. And then step two is think about the main character, okay? Think about what major conflict what major problem that main character is going through and think about what the character learns from the result of that problem. Think about what the character learns from the conclusion or from the resolution. What is the lesson that character learned? So I know it looks, it looks like step two has three steps, but it really doesn't. It's all about the character. So step one in finding the theme is thinking about things that are repeated over and over. Step two is thinking about what the main character learns from the conflict he or she goes through, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch this short video called Bounden, okay? And we're gonna look for repetition and we're gonna look for what the main character learns from going through this problem, okay? So there are a few different ways that you can watch this video. Um, first of all, if you have this, like if you're watching this right now, um, in the video. If you have a phone or an iPad, you could actually just scan this QR code. You can hit pause on this video, scan the QR code with your other device and go ahead and watch it and then just come on back here. Another idea is see this link right here. If we're in the video together, you can't really like you can't really click on the link because this is a video, but it's a short um, it's a short link and you can just type that in. Okay, like you could hit pause on this video, type this in, it'll go straight over to the video. Um, a third option is that this little um, video here called Bounden, um, it's one of the Pixar short videos. You could actually just go to YouTube and you could type in Bounden, okay? So there are a few different ways to watch that. In fact, I can show you. So if you just um, copy this right here, if you scan this right here, it'll go to the same video. Um, and so that's, that's what you can do right now. So hit pause, go ahead, watch the video, and I'll meet you back here when you're done. Okay, we're going to say that you went ahead and watched the video. So here we are back together. So remember 
step one, we're going to look for what was repeated in that video. So first of all, the title bounding, it's, it's like a play on words of bounding. And when you're bounding, like my puppy is bounding all over the house, she's leaping and jumping and like just running everywhere, right? So the title bounding is repeated over and over and over again in this short little film, like bound and rebound is a line that is sung over and over. So we see that repetition. Okay. And even if you're not watching a video, even if you're thinking about a book you just read, a short story you just read, some other movie that you saw, think about things that are repeated over and over. And that gives you a clue to the theme. Okay. Okay. So if step one is the repetition, step two is what did the character learn from the conclusion of the story? Like what did the character learn from the conflict, right? Well, in this little video, Bounding, the main character is heartbroken when he is shaved and left naked, right? He struggles to find any joy in his life. That's his big conflict. But when he is taught that he can bound, when he can rebound, his life changes for the better because he has hope now, okay? So we have two things. First of all, bounding and rebounding are words that are used over and over. Secondly, the main character learns that if he can just figure out how to rebound, he knows that his life can change. Okay, so then like, what's the theme? How do you actually like, how do you actually say that? So here's the deal. To practice rebounding from life's challenges is to get better at facing them. To practice rebounding from life's challenges means that you get better at facing them. Now there are other ways to say the theme, okay? There's not just one correct way to say it, but as long as you get the gist, as long as you can come up with the idea that the theme has something to do with overcoming your obstacles or trying again or not giving up, um, face your challenges and come out on the other side, right? Then you've got the theme. We're not all going to explain the theme the same way, but if we basically have the same gist here, then we know we've got it. Okay, so let's practice a little bit more. Now we're going to watch the short film called Partly Cloudy. I have a little typo there. Okay, partly cloudy, all right? You're gonna look for what is being repeated and it might not be just words, okay? When you're looking in a, like a story, a novel, um, of course you're going based off of the words or the descriptions. Um, when you're looking at a video like this, there, it, it could be other things too. It could be words, it could be descriptions, things that are said, it could be images. So just look for things that are repeated, all right? So a couple different things. You'll look for the repetition. You're gonna think about what the main character learned from going through that problem. And of course, same thing here. If you have a second device nearby, go ahead and pick that up. You can scan the QR code here and go right to the video. Um, you can also like hit pause on this video right here. Just literally hit pause. Type in this little code into your um, internet browser and you can go ahead and watch um, partly cloudy. You can also just go straight to YouTube and do a search for partly cloudy. Okay, pause here, watch it, I'll meet you back. Okay, we are back. So you'll notice partly cloudy, okay, that, that was your practice, all right? We have two more little items here for you to practice. So same thing you can type in this code, these codes in your browser window. You can scan with a QR code. You can also go to YouTube and just type in Piper, right? The Pixar little film called Piper. I've got the image here so that you know that you're on the right one. You can also type in, um, look for the one called Coin Operated, Coin Operated, okay? And so really you've got three more to do on your own. You have the partly cloudy one, you have Piper, and you have Coin Operated. And these are pretty short. These are just a few minutes each. And so what you're gonna do now is you're actually gonna jot down your ideas and you're gonna put your, your ideas, your responses in the little form that looks like this, okay? So it looks like this. In fact, let me just bring it up here and show you. This is, what, this is actually what yours looks like, okay? So there are a few things here. Um, once again, I put the link here. So if you are looking at, if you have the digital form of this graphic, or of this organizer, of this chart, then you can actually click on each of these links. See how um, it changes to the little finger pointing? You can just click on that and go straight to the videos. You can also um, scan each one 
with another device if you have that nearby, if that's easier. So several different ways here that you can watch the videos. And then this is where you can fill things out. Remember, we did bounding together. So this is where you can go ahead and type in your ideas that we talked about. And then of course, Partly Cloudy, Piper, and Coin Operated is where you can put down the other ideas, okay? So remember that when you're looking for what's repeated, it could be a word or a phrase, it could be an image, it could even be a sound, right? Because these are videos, it could even be a sound. Um, and it could be a symbol. So the same symbol that kind of represents um, other ideas, right? And then of course you write down what does the main character learn? So what is the overall lesson the main character learns? And then how can you come up with the theme of the story from that? Okay, that is it. That is all for right now. Thanks so much.